Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Christian Bueno and for those of you who don't know me, I'm the owner of Mr. Portugui Horseshoes. It's an outdoors and sporting goods company that I started a couple of months ago and I am building my social following through YouTube, Facebook and Instagram. So please head down to the links below and go and check me out. Check out my business and see how I'm doing. Tell me how I'm doing. If you like what I'm doing, then contact me and we can collaborate. And so with that being said, today in this video, I have three tips that I wanted to share with you guys about getting started and how to differentiate yourself as a new business, starting off as a new business. And I got this idea from somebody who was introducing themselves as a new member into a Facebook group that I'm in. And they asked the question at the end, what makes you stand out as a business? And it's got me thinking because there's members in this business, I mean, in this group who probably have had businesses for a business for a couple years versus people starting out just like me. So I thought to myself, I wonder what makes, you know, new business owners stand out. And I came up with these three tips. So the first tip is do things that others won't do or that they don't want to do. And I know this sounds cliche, but as cliche as it sounds, this is very, very true. And this doesn't mean go out and do something illegal and, you know, go get arrested doing things that others won't do but it means no matter how dirty the job is no matter how stressful no matter how late you need to stay up to complete the job do it because when somebody asks about your product or service and your customer refers you that reference could go a long way that could that could be the point in your career that um, boosts your boosts your following or gives you more or sells a hundred sets or you know, it really helps out your business. So go that extra mile and do things that others won't because customers do notice that. And when they leave reviews, they will point that out. And that's what a lot of new buyers are, or cold leads are gonna wanna, um, they're gonna wanna see. So with that being said, do things others won't do. You need to, for me, what I focus on is outworking the competition. That's what it comes down to. I view business as a sport and there's highly skilled people playing in my in my arena and I need to level myself up by out working and out hustling and out grinding and focusing to detail on the smallest on you know the smallest details to improve my products and learn and grow and evolve and that leads me to my second tip which is do not let opportunities pass you by now this is very important and I have a story about this about um that involves my favorite football team, the 49ers, the San Francisco 49ers. And um, so this happened a couple of nights ago on a Saturday. So it's a Saturday night, it's a weekend. I get a, I get a hit from um, some guy on Facebook interested in buying one of my products. And I have, um, he, he hits me up about one of my products and he is requesting a certain color scheme that I don't have available at the moment. I would have to go to um, Home Depot or somewhere to go pick up the material see if they even have it in stock first and go and pick up what he needs so with that being said I had to let him know that oh, I'm sorry I won't get the product out for a couple days or so so like I'll have it ready to you by Monday or Tuesday delivered and um, after I said that I had to do a little quick research for, I should have done this first but I had to do a little research on him and see what his interests were because maybe I could I could work out a color scheme for him that I did have the materials for already because that's how I like to operate is like when somebody orders something from me especially a set I like to get it to them as quickly as possible get it in their hands get them to see it get it in front of them so that they can experience the joy of having this product and feeling that emotion and um, connecting that emotion to this product to to close that sale it helps close my sales easy quickly so um, I wanted to see what interest he had and come to find that he loves the San Francisco 49ers just like I do so I had in mind that if I had a, a set with the 49ers logo on the side I would really love this set you know that would be like my favorite my favorite thing of all time and it's what we could play with at the beach barbecues special events celebrations grad parties stuff like that anyways um, so I offered him a set that had the logo on top and he said okay show me a picture then and I ha and I make these to order so I didn't have a set ready to show him 
So what I did was I just went on Google, found a, a red t-shirt with a white 49ers logo on top and said, this is what it, something what it's going to look like. He said, okay. So he said, um, what time, what time will you have it done by tonight? Delivered. So that means I had to drive to him. Luckily he lived like 20 minutes away from where I, from where my workshop is. And he asked, he asked that question and I didn't want any, Keep in mind, it's a Saturday, so I didn't want to give him too late of a time because I could have gave him like 10 o'clock or 10.30, 11 o'clock. That's crazy. That's too late for someone to, you know, for me to wait for someone to come over to my house on a Saturday night. I didn't want to impose or ruin anything that he might have going on. But I didn't. I also didn't want to say, um, let's wait till tomorrow. Uh, let me deliver it tomorrow morning or so because who knows? He might not want it by then or he might need it by tomorrow morning. So... I, I gave him a time without constraining my effort and quality of product and we um, were able to work out a time that got me, that gave me ample time to not rush but get it done quickly and deliver it in a timely manner by, was, I think it was like 8.30, 9 o'clock I, I, I showed up and they were with him and his wife were waiting outside and they were ecstatic, they were blown away by the, by the quality and just the craftsmanship of the product. So. Um, do not let opportunities pass by in that sense. Try to exceed expectations as much as you can. If there is a chance for you to exceed their expectations, which there was for me, I could have said, yeah, go ahead um, or no, let's wait till tomorrow. Um, I can get it to you tomorrow morning. And then I could have taken my time throughout the night and you know, done other stuff around the house, but I jammed, I jammed out this set. I, I put all my focus and my attention into it. You know, I was, all my attention to detail was in there, the painting, the, all the way to the logo. It, it came down to the logo that was the hardest the hardest part and um i just made sure that everything w was was clean before i delivered that product so exceed expectations while you can if you can and this leads me to my third and final tip which is video so everybody knows that video is going viral for businesses this is this should be number one but i as after you start doing video, you start recording, you start doing it for business, and you start networking with people through video, you'll see and come to realize that this is the standard in business now. It is the bottom line, and it's what should be in business if you tend to expand or scale anything. Because you can't have somebody's attention for just a quick minute. You know, you need, you need a lot of interaction, and customers or potential leads need to put their... Um, they need to put some personality with the with the brand. I mean with the product that they're buying and this is how you brand yourself is through video and I'm slowly still learning this um, this concept, but branding yourself through video is the Quickest way to success and that doesn't mean quick in a way where in a month I'll be or a month or two I'll, or even six months I'll be I'll be flying and I'll be pumping out sales like crazy. It just means that you are on you are accelerating your progress instead of just you know slow and steady wins the race because this is a doggy dog world whether you like it or not and it's it's how you do business business is a sport so you need to outwork out hustle do things other people won't don't let opportunities pass and document it that's what video is for it's for documentation at first like I, I only have three subscribers on YouTube. I don't ha I don't expect you know a huge following or a lot of engagement or even one comment on any of my videos. I don't expect that. I expect to document these things so that people or businesses down the line can see the evolution of my business and of my products. And that's what I like to use my Instagram for because you can see my, from my very first post what my product looks like. It looks like crap. <laughs> It looks like the first prototype ever ever built, like a caveman could have built it kind of thing. And now you see throughout the years how well and refined my product is becoming and still progressing and evolving day by day. So with that being said, video gets you a lot of attention and, uh, and eventually engagement down the road. It just takes one video to go viral for you and, or your business to start flourishing. And it all comes down to personal branding. And we, I talk about this in other videos, uh, previous videos. And I also talk about how to develop and create a product from scratch and posting an optimized listing and down to closing the sale. This was all through video. So this is how important video is and how people can look back into your past and um, determine whether or not they wanna do business with you, whether it's a product or service-based business video is crucial and vital to your success well with that being said 
Um, that's, that's all I got for you today. I hope I didn't um, waste any of your time and that I brought a ton of value. If not even one of those tips really help you do better business, I hope that I brought some value and please leave a thumbs up if it did. Um, subscribe to my channel if you feel like it. If you feel like you need some business and mindset hacks, some motivation from a startup, from somebody who is starting from nothing and building something. Like I, I am getting business, I am getting sales. I just use this to document and um, sh help share my journey. And hopefully people can pick up some um, lessons from the mistakes that I make hands on and maybe network with me and we can share and swap advice. Um, but other than that, thank you for watching all the way to the end. I really appreciate you guys. If you have any feedback for me, please leave some in the comment section below. I would really appreciate it. Um, do me a favor and go and say hi on my other social media platforms. I'm, I'm on Facebook um, at Mr. Podagi, facebook.com forward slash Mr. Podagi. That's M-R-P-O-D-A-G-E-E. -E. And also on Instagram, go and check out my story. Go look at the first product. Go and see how I evolved from that little product to um, where I'm at now recently. Um, throwing brands and brand names and teams, favorite teams. It's very exciting, for me at least. And as a business owner, very excited to work with all you guys out there who want to collaborate. So go and check that out on Instagram. Thank you for following. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.